Hello everyone, my name is Mark Edward Blanton with The Real South Africa. And I am Dr. Latasha Blanton, also with The Real South Africa. We have an amazing group trip that you will be interested in. It's with the African Diaspora News Channel, a great YouTube channel gives you great information about what's going on in Africa. But we have a group trip featuring Phil Scott, the host. And the trip is going to take place on March 16th to the 25th. It's going to go to Johannesburg and Cape Town, and yes. it's in 2022. If you're interested in traveling, please send an email to info at therealsouthafrica.com. And we'll see you here in sunny South Africa. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know I am a big advocate of private schools and homeschooling for our children because our children aren't safe in public schools in the area of education because they indoctrinate our children into racism and white supremacy, and they do psychological harm to our children, you know, mental harm to our children in these schools, you know, the race soldiers. So, you know, I'm just not an advocate of public schools at all. Now we have our sister Latasha Williams out of Cleveland, Ohio. She filed a federal lawsuit against the Lorraine City School District Board of Education and their employee, uh, Monica Summers Fredenstein. Now the school is Palm Elementary School and this employee, who is white, is accused of forcing our sister's nine-year-old daughter to eat food taken from the lunchroom garbage bin. Now let's go ahead and roll that clip literally flipped my whole family upside down. Latasha Williams tells me her fourth grade daughter told her last month she was forced to eat food out of a garbage can at lunch, humiliated in front of everyone at Lorraine's Palm Elementary. She doesn't act the same. Um, she doesn't even want to go to school. She's forced. It's terrible to think that a child who goes to school and feels safe may now never feel safe again at school. Attorney Jared Klebano filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the Lorraine City School District and the employee. Here's the backstory. The little girl apparently didn't like her food, waffles, so she threw them away. But then the school worker, according to the complaint, told her to go sit down and that she would be required to eat the waffles she dug out of the garbage. It's humiliating. It's disgraceful and it's unacceptable. On top of that, Latasha said her daughter was physically sick and she lost her job over missing work to take care of her. The lawsuit asks for an undetermined amount of money and an admission of wrongdoing. And this mother of three, she's hoping somehow her family can move on. Nobody else's child should ever have to go through something like this. So as you heard in the story, you know, this woman here, this Mzungu lady, is they had been standing next to the garbage bin when they were throwing the food away, and she reportedly retrieved the waffles, as you heard, from the trash and instructed the young girl to get a paper towel. Now, the little sister, not understanding why, but wanted to obey the adult's request, the Jane Doe, which they have her name in there, retrieved the paper towel from where she got it from her lunch, brought it back to Summers. It says Summers told Jane Doe to go sit down and that she would be required to eat the waffles Summers dug out of the garbage. Now the suit also claims that Summers next uh, sat next to the girl and said glaring at her while all the other kids began to laughing at her, adding that the young girl began to feel ill after eating the food and later developed a fever. It said when she got home, she notified her mother of the incident. Since then, the child has suffered mental health issues and required treatment. The suit alleged. Now one thing this sister said in this video is said was she's forced to go to school. No, she is not. She is not forced to go to public school. They have a program called K-12. If you don't have a private black school to put your child in, enroll them in K-12. Any state can get in K-12. K-12 um, is, is something that either they have K-12 private or just K-12 where the one that's free. If you went to public schools, you can get into the free uh, K-12, if you went to private schools and you want to go to tw K-12, you're going to have to pay for it. The price every month is around like 530 some odd dollars a month, so it's not bad on price. You know, the, mo the way they do it is, is real cool. It is, it's at home, right? And, you know, it's really organized how they have K-12, okay? And you can do things at, at your own pace. It doesn't mean you don't do your work, but like my little girl, she's doing it right now, you know? Um, 
and she loves it. She loves it. I have one of the teachers, you know, from her previous school that, that comes here every day to, to, you know, help her with the things that she needs to help her with and also, you know, get her ahead at what she needs to get ahead with. But what I'm saying is, it's always an option. You don't have to, listen, there's no way I'm going to send my child to a school that made her eat out of the trash can. No matter, you don't know what somebody put in that trash can. People put not only food in the trash can, they pour all kind of, you know, chemicals and anything else they pour in the trash can. And one thing you need to tell your children, you don't listen to nobody that's telling you to do wrong. Matter of fact, tell them to call me and I'll tell you if you're supposed to do what they say or not. Don't you do anything these people tell you to do and you don't, it's not right. Tell your children, you don't eat out the trash can. You're not no animal. That's what a dog would do is try to eat out the trash can. Say, I'm not a dog. I don't eat out of a trash can. Hell no. And that little girl, she went and called her mama and say, mama, they're trying to make me eat out of the trash can and say, okay, I'm coming at that right now. Matter of fact, I'm taking you out of school. I'm going to take you somewhere to eat. Ain't no way they're going to make you eat in a trash can. Now the lawsuit is correct. File the lawsuit. But we as black parents must protect our children. Listen to what I said. She's dealing with mental health issues, mental health. And that affected her physical health. I told y'all these people in the way they are, don't have the more compass to be over us like that. They have too much hatred for us as black people. We don't have a hatred toward them like that, obviously, but they have it to us. And, and, and that's not changing no time soon. I'm not trying to change them because I understand that's just who they are in their culture when in relation to us. So what we supposed to do is, okay, you see things like this, then don't put your children in public school because these things will happen to your children. We as black parents have to take personal responsibility for the safety of our children. You can't just give up your children to these people so you can go do what you got to do at work. We live in the age of working at home now. Find you a job that you can work at home. Find something. If you get your child in something like K-12 or you find a private school or something like that, that's great too. But if you have your child in something like K-12, you know, you can still work. Now, of course, you know, you need adult supervision with your children at home. I'm not saying you just leave them at home by themselves. But if anything, you be the teacher and you find you some work to do at home. There's a lot of at home jobs. Now there's a lot of ways and people making money on the internet now, but we don't have an excuse as a community. Now, while we can't homeschool, we are already conditioned to do it because of the pandemic. So take control of your children's education. Stop allowing our children to be physically abused and mentally abused in these public schools because they are not protecting black children. And I'm always going to be passionate about our black children in these schools in America. And I've seen stories where our black children, even in the UK, the same thing, physically abused and mentally abused. I will say to y'all, whatever the equivalent is to homeschool, do that in the UK as well. Our children need to be protected, but it's our job as parents, our job to protect them at all costs. But let me know in the comments what you think about, you know, this. And, and once again, I'm going to repeat it. It's called K-12. A lot of parents are doing it. There's a lot of black kids. Cause even in my little daughter's class, there's a lot of black kids in, in K-12. So a lot of black parents are doing homeschool. And, and, and I just recently read a study that black children who homeschool score an average of 25 to 45% higher on standardized tests than black children that go to public school. You know why? Because they're not being racially terrorized every day. So they actually can learn something. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African diaspora news channel app in the Google play and Apple app store. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it 
in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.